sis. Have you been thinking about making a digital product? Or perhaps you're interested now in to really start building a passive income for yourself and have extra money on the side? Well, say no more, friends, because this video is gonna be perfect for you. What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Alex, the Corporate Finesse. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a digital art print for you to start growing your passive income. If you have an Etsy shop and you're really trying to think of ways to grow your Etsy shop, grow your sales, or just pretty much start something new that you've never done before then this video is going to be great because I'm going to walk you through how you're going to be able to design an art print upload it create a free mock-up and all the like so be sure to stay to the end of this video so you can hear my announcement on part two of this series where I'm going to walk you through different phases of digital products and how you can create them for your own shop so it's really no secret that a lot of people have been moving away from physical products like physical planners and things like that and now moving on to the digital platform so you'll see a lot of digital planners on Etsy. You'll see a lot of art prints and things like that, templates for your business or for your meal plans, all the like, right? And so, well, I think this is the perfect time to really jump on this wave because the digital art prints aren't going anywhere anytime soon. In fact, last year alone, there was about 74% of online purchases just for digital products and goods. So if you're thinking about pretty much compiling your, your knowledge or your services in like an ebook or course and all that stuff and selling it you can make you some really good money okay and let me say this passive income has really become a favorable type of income to make I mean who doesn't want to make money in their sleep okay <laughs> So this is gonna be a three part series, so make sure you watch till the end so you can hear my announcement on part two of the Digital Product Empire. I am also gonna show you how you can create a free mock-up using Canva, so that way your digital products will look very professional for your Etsy shop. So without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen with you guys so you can see how to create your first digital art print. Let's get started. Hey friends, so now I have changed my view and now you see that I'm in Creative Market. Creative Market is an awesome platform, a website you guys so if you're looking to find graphics fonts templates all the like I highly suggest you check out creative market I'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description box you guys can you know use it and just check it out so as you can see here like I mentioned they have a lot they have a lot of templates a lot of bundles if you're thinking about making something more on the artsy side more on the flower or botanical side it really just depends one thing I will note though when it comes to creative market be sure that whatever you're purchasing check the file source because you want to make sure that it's going to be compatible for when you upload it into Canva and that it doesn't require any other softwares like Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. So I would rather you guys know before you go into the hassle of pretty much going into buying all of these softwares that you don't need. So when purchasing packages from Creative Market, just be sure that you check the file source. So moving on to Canva, I actually use the Canva Pro membership because I just feel that it does give me more of a creative control. It it gives me more access to features and I'm not as limited so if you do have the means to purchase that that's about $14 a month so I would just suggest you do that <laughs>
graphics again you can go to creative market y'all and just go hard trust me there's a lot of stuff you can find on there especially if you're interested in having more um, like I said flower graphics or hearts and any type of shape that you're thinking of so I know that this is exactly what I was imagining so now it's time to pretty much download this as a PDF file and a PNG file now the reason why you want to do both is because number one you kind of want to make sure that it's going to look right the first thing that I do when it comes to just completing my digital art print in Canva I'm gonna to go to my downloads button and I'm gonna change the file type to PDF print where it says high quality multi-page document and the reason why I want to do that is because I want to see just for myself how this is gonna look so I'm gonna select download and after it downloads we're gonna see what it looks like so as you guys can see here I'm gonna zoom out this is what I'm looking like. Not too bad. I feel like it can look a little bit better, but also keep in mind when it comes to digital art prints, the quality and how pigmented the art print is going to be is solely dependent on, you know, printer, ink, things like that. So just make sure when you're creating your listing on Etsy, you're very specific in letting your, your customers know that the print quality may vary depending on what printer they're using, what ink, etc. So, okay, I did my PDF test. I like it, so I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna go back to my canvas. Now what I'm gonna do is download this as a PNG file and make sure that it's transparent. The reason why I'm doing that is because, as I mentioned to you guys, I'm gonna show you how you can also create a free mock-up in Canva. So we're gonna do that as well. So I'm gonna go back to download. I'm gonna keep my file type as PNG. However, the only thing I'm gonna do is click transparent background. Now, this is where the Canva Pro membership also comes in handy. create um, like I said a mock-up for free using a picture from Canva and I'm gonna show you how you can do this so I'm gonna also make sure that this is set as the background so it's just pretty much very big and you can actually portray it um, big to your customers I'm gonna adjust this picture a little bit by brightening up the canvas so this background is a little bit more like pigmented so let me go ahead and adjust this photo okay that looks good. Now I'm gonna to go to my uploads. So I already uploaded my PNG file to my computer and I uploaded it right back into Canva. So as you guys can see here, outside of this, if you can notice, there is no white background because it was uploaded with a transparent background. So now that it doesn't have a transparent background, you pretty much can create a mock-up all in your free will and it will appear as if it belongs in this portrait. Now I'm gonna add a few more frames just to add some variety so I'm going to go back to photos and I think this one is okay subtle but it'll work for this example and I'm going to also add another one I like this one too let's choose this one so now I've set them all as a background so this one cuts off a little bit what you can do is just double click it and drag it over and that way it solves that problem so I'm going to go back up here on my second page go to my uploads create that again I'm gonna leave that right there for now Perfect. So now, all you really have to do, you guys, is resize it. So let me try to zoom in just a little bit. Perfect. 
So now you can just resize your art print to where it fits in the actual photo mock-up. And it really creates the illusion, you guys, that you pretty much are offering the frame, the art print, and the like. But this is, of course, going to help you when it comes to selling this art print because it gives your buyers that experience on what it will actually look like in real life when they purchase this product. I'm going to do the same thing for the last page and just wrap this up. Now I'm going to zoom back out and as you guys can see here with my little slideshow now you can see how not only you can create digital products or digital prints in Canva but you can also find frames for your products for free given the exception though that you do have the Canva Pro membership and then you upload them as a PNG file with a transparent background and it really looks like that you pretty much framed and created this art print all with your hands. So now that you've downloaded and created your digital art print, now you're good to go to upload it to your Etsy shop and start making that passive income, y'all. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be creating a part two and three of this series. And part two is going to be how you can create digital or printable planner templates using Canva all for your business or even for your own personal usage that you can create on your own. This is also a really great growing business, you guys. So if you are interested in creating these templates, especially if you wanted to create planners or templates for your meal plans or if you're into a coaching business and you want to create your ebooks for things like that part two of this video is going to be wonderful for you in my honest opinion so that's it for today's video my friends on how you can create a digital art print using canva and creative market make sure you leave me a thumbs up on this video and comment down below if you have any questions thank you guys so much for watching today's video and make sure you drink your water mind your business and choose yourself first and i'll catch you in my next video bye guys